paper. Okay. Ahem. You're gonna love this. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, I, I, I see. I, I didn't shave today. Just in case you didn't notice, I didn't shave today. Um, you know what? Hold on. Before I get into this, Watch Stand Pray is finished. It's done. WatchStandPray.com. The book is available paperback at Amazon. Yes. Watch Stand Pray. 365. 365 positive, pithy, heart-probing, moral, motivational reads. 365 words each for... Thirteen hundred sixty-five cents. That's right. Thirteen sixty-five is the price at Amazon.com. Ten ten dollars plus three hundred sixty-five cents. So I, and and for the record, it took me three point six five months to write it because it took me just over five months. Well, five point one five months, and then I took a month and a half off, which if you subtract five months, that's three points. So I'm and I so. At just 365 through and through. So it's there. It's uh, you but books.jessiesteel.com is it's all it's there. It's yeah, it's as promised. I'm so I look, I've been writing dealing you know, with this thing since February. You know what it's like for it to be halfway through August and you're finished on something that you've been working on since February? Do you know what that's like? Yes. See, I I knew that you knew what that was like. So, uh, there we go. There, uh, Watch Stand Pray is all finished and done. Yay. Um, oh, you know, no, I wasn't going to talk about that, but Jesse Hernandez. Yes, the first male cheerleader in the NFL or something like, is that, really, it's not just that one football team? It's, well, what do I think of him? Uh, well, I think he's got a very handsome name. Well, I was thinking Hernandez. What were you thinking? I, uh, okay. okay. Um, you know, today, I, this is really something. <clears throat> I was uh, with my buddy Bo and it, it's, it's coming. We're, we're. Uh, trade, Taiwan. This is a fun little thing that we're... See, we've got all these manufacturing factories. You know, I, I, I presume that a factory does manu... But anyhow, we've got these manufacturing things all around us, and we're in Taiwan. And factories keep coming to me and showing me what their awesome, new, wonderful product is. It's really, really fascinating to watch. So I get to see all these great new ideas that people have. So guys, a startup, some guy is a factory and I mean, people are, they, they've got, you know, the, the, the buildings built, they got the machines are like ready to go make 10,000 of something and they don't know what, but they want to make 10,000 of something. Well, I'm here and they're all right up the street from me. And there's people in America that want to have 10,000 of something made. Now, made in China, that's kind of yesterday's newspaper made in Taiwan is super good quality because they've, they've got, you know, like, you know, the, 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 the graphite factories just down the street. And then like, you know, the fabric company spins a fabric and then they put it on a truck and drive it across the street. Maybe put on a cart wheel across the street to the other factory. And then they cut it into like, it's all, it's all like right there in the neighborhood. And so manufacturing in Taiwan is a dream like this. Now, the thing is, I'm I'm not all about sending manufacturing over to other countries to make it cheaper, 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 cheaper. It's not Taiwan's quality and Vietnam is a friend. Well, <laughs> both of these countries, Taiwan, Vietnam, you know, very, 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 very good. Uh, you know, Japan does quality stuff. Korea does quality stuff. So, I. You know, this is this is good stuff. There, there, there. It's it, we're allowed to manufacture stuff in other countries, and like I say, maybe you've got an idea that you want to start with, and really the way to get it manufactured is something somewhere over in Asia. Well, I, I, 
jesse.tips is coming. It's going to be in the roll-up on the websites. Uh, right now, jesse.tips is... I'm kind of ashamed to say what jesse.tips was. It was an, this little idea I had to help people, but I think we're going to help people this way. So maybe you get kudos if you can go see what jesse.tips is before I change it into something else. If, if you want to go pay money for jesse.tips, you go right ahead. You, 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 you're all welcome to, you know. But jesse.tips is going to become... It's like a personal Alibaba, shall we say. You know, Alibaba is like this factory has got 10,000 of something for sale. Or if you've got your own idea, that's also allowable. Pay Alibaba, introduce you to the company. Well, there's a... Come on. Oh, I've had a long day and I'm doing this late. There's a company like that in Taiwan, but they're a storefront. And they've got, they've got a premium listing on their website, but they've got a whole long list of other companies inside the store you can just walk in sit down it's like a nice library and office it's kind of like a bookstore and library like it's really really a nice place it's called uh taiwan trade uh taitra t i a t r a but taiwantrade.com has the premium listings but there are many other smaller factories that could do great 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 work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that going and out to people now i you know I've Okay, you want to you want to hear about what Jesse's been learning in Jesse's life. Okay, what Jesse's been learning in Jesse's difficult life. I've been learning that we never know unless we stick our hand out and try. If if you don't know if, if you've got the right thing or wrong thing to say, you're not going to know unless you say it. Ah. Um um, so if you've got something to say, say it. If, if you have an idea, say it. If your idea is stupid, well, actually, you don't know if your idea is stupid. So find out, say it, and then you'll know if it's stupid, you know. So don't be afraid to just try stuff. Someone politely told me today that I was stupid. And I'm so happy that I did. And I, uh much more politely said that they were stupid, but which, okay, actually, actually what I did was I taught that person a very valuable lesson, uh, just in conversation. I, I said something and I think that person never heard that before. So now the person has, <sighs> um, did I say that I was tired? So that was one lesson I learned. The other lesson that I learned, very, very hard lesson to learn, was, was to let stuff go. I was recently forced this week to ax a couple domains just because they're super uber expensive and I don't have the cash for that like right this second at renewal time. I'm going, why, why would I... I mean, I got this on the super cheap discount. I got an idea going. I got a bit... But, why would I continue that? And then I found like, the, uh, uh. then I found another domain, uh, same brand name, but it actually worked better and very, 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 very inexpensive. And it turned out better. I've already like focus group tested it, whatever. I like, oh, I know this is so much better. I, that's great. It's okay. You know, it, so you never know what's going to be good. Sometimes you got to ask stuff. Ask, not, well, sometimes you got to ask. Sometimes you got to ask. <gasps> Did I say I'm tired? I'm exhausted. Okay. <laughs> there's always next week. There's, there's all, we'll get to it next week. 